has a song called The Song of the Dawn. So that's very important. So songwriters who've composed songs in the English language in the last, say, 100 years, they have seen, found their way into the song tradition. Other singers of humorous songs as well, uh, two singers that spring to mind. One is a man called Joe Mulhern from Derry, who's written songs, humorous songs, which have found their way into the tradition. Another man is called Sean Moan from Armagh, who writes comical songs as well. And of course, accordion player and singer who I heard last week at the Willie Clancy Summer School, Con Fada O'Driscoll from Cork, who has a great version of the song Molly Vaughan at the minute for any of you have the pleasure of hearing Colin singing or play in the box. Also, no appraisal of traditional songs, in particular in the province of my own province of Ulster, would be complete without the mention of the orange ballads of our loyal true sons of William. These are part and parcel of the song, Ulster song legacy and are full of wit and humour. And of course, the month is in it, July, it was very important to add this into my talk. Lines such as, you Protestant heroes of Ireland, Will you listen to these words I pinned down concerning the Mahali heroes who marched through Sweet Porta Down? It was on the 12th day of July, our drums they did bait and did play, and the Protestant boys in Boyne Water were the tune we played went away. <laughs> <laughs> Any northern people here? <laughs> anyway, first of all, I'm going to move on now to the styles. This, this, this talk is about traditional songs and styles in the English language. Now, this is my as I said, broad overview, and I keep going back to that, on this lecture here today on songs in English language and styles. The style and technique of traditional singing differs from individual to individual, from county to county, and of course from province to province, region to region, call it what you like. Now we're going to listen to examples of singers, first of all from the west of Ireland. By the way, this is merely my own selection uh, and if someone else was giving this talk here today, they might have a different selection, you know. Come on ahead. The first uh, person that I'm going to play is the late Tom Lenehan. There you are. Really, you've just missed yourself singing. You, you, you. <laughs> there you go. No, as I say, I'm going to start now with Tom Lenehan. Tom was from Milltown Malby in West County Clare. Now, Tom stayed when you hear him singing, <coughs> is mainly concerned, have you thought of Tom? Yes. Is mainly concerned with telling the story, which he does brilliantly. He interprets the story of Farmer Michael Hayes, which is the name of the song he sings, simply and very effectively. He engages the listener and has a beautiful, relaxed, overall quality to his voice. So, we'll have Tom Lennon now singing Farmer Michael Hayes. <laughs> I am a bold and under hunted fox that never wild did fall in tramp. My rain trees and taxes that he was willing for to pay him. I lived as happy as King Saul and loved my neighbors great and small. I had no one of for either friend or foe. I made my den in prime good land between the prairie and the clown, where my forefather... Okay, we're going to now take an example, staying in the west of Ireland, uh, of two singers called Sarah and Rita Keane, or Keane, of course, aunts of the infamous Dolores Keane. Sarah and Rita were from a place called Cahar Lestrad in County Galway, Singing to them was a way of life, apparently. They had, they had just, it was effortless to them. Now, they are an example, as you'll hear, of two people singing in unison, as you heard at the beginning of the lecture when you heard Joe Holmes and Len Graham mm -hmm. from Ulster singing in unison. Not a very common practice in traditional singing nowadays, but nevertheless. So, 